Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. And this is going to be a short video just to give you guys some news updates in the Canon RF world in terms of devices and lenses. Now, all the information that I'm gonna talk about today was posted over at Canon Rumors within the last week. And the first thing that I'm gonna talk about is the Canon R5C. Now, at this point, keep in mind that these are uh, just rumors. However, these specific rumors are being credited to a valued source, uh, which generally that means on Canon rumors that they are almost as good as fact and generally end up being true. Now, from what we can tell, the Canon R5C looks to be a revision of the current R5. From what everyone can guess, it's potentially going to be a thicker, chunkier version of the R5 because it is being listed as having active cooling. It also looks like you're gonna have unlimited 8K recording, which would be an absolute huge step up from the R5 since we all know the R5 had absolutely horrible overheating issues. Now, other things that we know about it, I'm going to put on the screen for you right now. It's gonna have Canon Log 3. Uh, Canon Log 2 is still being discussed. Uh, you've got the unlimited 8K 30P uh, that I was speaking of and Cinema Raw Light. XF AVC and MP4, time code in and out. Uh, it's gonna have the same multi-purpose hot shoe as the EOS R3, the active cooling. It's gonna have mounting points on top for an electronic viewfinder or top handle, uh, full-size HDMI port. And then the LCD is being moved farther back, most likely to incorporate the active cooling. Now the potential release rumor for this is the end of 2022. So we're gonna have to wait and see what happens. That is really all the information we have on that at the moment, but it's going to be something to keep an eye out for. Now the next rumor is from Sigma. And we've heard over the last two years that Sigma was going to get into the RF lens market at some point. Uh, they said that they were keeping it on the table. We just didn't really have anything, you know, concrete to pin down in terms of when we were going to get some kind of third party lenses from Sigma. Well, it seems that the sources again have reached out to the Canon Rumors guys. And what we are hearing is sometime in 2022, there are going to be three to five lenses being released from Sigma for the Canon RF system that are gonna fit the EOS R, the RP, the Canon R5, the Canon R6, and the new R3, as well as the C70. Now, this is super exciting news for anyone who has ever used Sigma lenses because they are absolutely putting out good glass for the Sony E-mount mirrorless system at a fraction of the cost of what the Sony lenses run. Now, I would love to hear from you guys down in the comments, what lenses do you wanna see Sigma put out in their first batch of lenses? Post down below and let me know, or what lenses do you think they're putting out? Um, if I had to make a guess, you know, maybe at least an 85 prime that seems to be what all of the third party companies who do have lenses have gone for so far. Viltrox just did theirs, Young Yo did theirs, and then Sam Yang did theirs uh, about a year ago. So it makes sense that Sigma would put out an 85, maybe a 50, maybe a 35. One of the lenses that I'm really hoping Sigma puts out is going to be the 24 to 70 2.8 DG lens. Uh, this lens has been absolutely great in the last nine or 10 months that it's been out for the Sony system. And I'm really hoping that we can get that lens for the RF mount, mainly because it comes in right around $1,100 compared to the $2,800 that the Canon version of this lens is. And if everything else that Sigma has done in the past on Canon is any indication, that lens will give the Canon version a huge run for its money while being about $1,600 to $1,700 cheaper. Now, I'm also hoping that we maybe see a wide angle lens from Sigma as well. Um, if it's not in the first batch of lenses, you know, maybe within the next year or so afterwards. Now, one of the major concerns that is listed in this article is that Sigma is worried about, you know, lack of production, not being able to put the lenses out in the quantities they need due to lack of materials and things of that nature. And that's something that we've seen in the electronics industry as a whole over the last two years during the course of this pandemic as it's really hurt the entire electronics industry. So hopefully Sigma can figure something out with this. I know all of us who are on the Canon RF system have really wanted a Sigma alternative to some of these Canon lenses for quite some time. There is still no word on if Tamron is doing anything. 
Uh, at this point, they may just kind of sit back and wait to see how Sigma does or what Sigma puts out before making any decisions on their own. All right, now that's all I've got for this week in Canon news. If you guys have any questions at all, please post down in the uh, comment section. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as it helps the channel greatly. It's also gonna help this video get seen by more people. Now, if you like this type of video and you wanna see more videos related to camera light microphone, camera tech reviews, or news, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell notification. That way you get alerts anytime I put out a new video. Now with that being said, until next time.